it's Lindsay and today we're going to talk about storyboarding for animation. So I've got a storyboard kind of ready to go and then I'm going to talk about why we storyboard, what's the point of it, and how it helps us to make our movies. So here is my storyboard and right now I've just got the background drawn. I usually pick a color like a blue or something so if I want to later on go over it with a black outline I can and it won't get lost or I'll know where my line is. Um, and when I'm storyboarding, I use layers, so this tool here, and I create a couple of layers. So the first one is my background with all the different elements that I need. And then the second one, I usually do my character. So in this scene, my character is going to come from way back here. And then he's going to probably stop somewhere around here. He'll be a bit bigger because he's walking kind of toward our camera here. And You'll notice I'm drawing really sketchy. It has nothing to do with perfection for this. I just want to get across the idea of what's happening in the story. And I also like to put in some arrows to indicate where he's moving. So I'll pop onto a different layer. Oops. And I'll just show with an arrow the action that's happening. There we go. And my arrow's also getting bigger to kind of show that he's walking toward camera. It just kind of helps to tell the story. And there's my first scene, my character walking. So this is kind of like the comic version of my movie. It has to do with planning out the story before I actually get into animating it. So I know where my story is going. I know where my animation and motions are going. And I can share this storyboard after the fact to other people who I maybe would want to be my audience and then they get an idea of what the story is and I know where my challenges are gonna come up. So parts of my story that don't make sense or maybe could be done with a different shot. And I'll talk about shots in another video, in my next video, so make sure to watch that one as well. So then I went through and I did the rest of my storyboard. My next scene is my guy walking and whistling, having a good time. Then I go to a different shot and there's a banana. And I've done it in a different color just so I can keep track of where my character is. And there he is in the background. And then for this one, I redrew it to show that the camera is pushing in. And I might even add some arrows to show that my camera is moving. Or make these into arrows kind of a thing. Um, anything I can to translate what's happening in this motion. There's a foot moving and it's really sketchy so it's hard to even maybe tell it's a foot. But this is again just my super basic planning. And there's his foot and it's coming toward the banana. And then I put in a little reaction shot for the banana. So his eyes are going to open up. And then these are some trees. Kaboom. There we go. The banana has somehow summoned up an explosion and then he hops away. And that's my super simple story. I can now take this and share it with my friends or my parents, whoever it is and just see if my story makes sense. And from there, I would continue on into timing it out to make it the animation that I'm looking for. So I'll show you that in my next video. Make sure to watch them and subscribe to our channel so that you can keep up to date with all the cool things that we're up to.